So 1.4 limit of a function. A function f has a limit l, l can be any number, as x approaches a, so it is written like this, okay, so limit of f of x as x approaches a equals l, if the limit is l. Again, l can be any number, okay? Um, so provided that y values of f of x get closer and closer to l, as x gets closer and closer to a. That is the x value, a, and that is l is the y value of the function. But again, it is not uh, the value of function when x is equal to a, right? Then we would say this, right? f of a equals l. So limit is not this, but as x approaches a, so as x gets closer and closer to a, so y values are getting closer and closer to l. So, so f of a may be l, but doesn't have to be, okay? So these two are not the same thing. They are not the same. And, uh, of course, we look at uh, the limit from both sides, from left, and from right. Okay. So limit of f of x as x approaches a exists if the following three criteria are met. So limit of f of x as x approaches from left. So how do we show left? With little negative sign. So this doesn't mean that a is negative or anything like that. This means as x values the x approaches a from left side okay so left sided limit so limit of f of x as x approaches a from right side so right side we show it with a little positive sign as an exponent okay so again this doesn't mean that a is positive or anything like that but this is just saying that as x approaches a from right side that is right sided limit okay so if left sided limit exists and if right side limit exists and if they are equal then we say that limit of f of x as x approaches a exists okay so these three criteria have to be met so let's look at the first example so we see a graph here okay and we are going to look at the limits so the first one is limit of f of x as x approaches one. Does this exist? And if, if it does, what is the value? Again, so we have to check these three criteria. All right, so I'm gonna do the work here. We have to check the limit from left side. So limit of f of x as x approaches one from left okay so we look at one and then to check the left side limit so we look at one and we approach one from the left side and then we check the y value at that point so as x getting closer and closer to one from left side what is happening to the y values right so then we get closer and closer to one. So y values are getting closer and closer to one. So left side limit is equal to one. Now we check the right side limit. Limit of f of x as x approaches one from right. So we saw show it with a little positive sign there. So this time we look at x and this time we approach from right, okay? So we get, we get closer and closer to one from right side. So what's happening to the y values? They are getting closer and closer to one, okay? The so left side limit is one, right side limit is one. Since they are equal, then we can say that, okay, limit of f of x as x approaches one is one. So now pay attention, what is f of one, okay? So when you look at f of one, 
that is two, right? F of one is two. So as you see, the limit is not the same as the value of the function at that point, which is fine. Again, when we look at the limit, we don't look at the directly y value of it when, let's say, for this example, when x is equal to 1. Okay, when x is equal to 1, y value is 2. But the, the limit is not the same as the y value, y value of, uh, of that point exactly when x is equal to 1. We just look at it from the left and from the right and check the limit. Okay. So left side limit is one, right side limit is one. They are equal, then limit exists at x equals one. Even though the value of the function when x is one is different, okay? So you still have a limit. So let's look at b or you know, limit of f of x as x approaches two. Again, we're gonna look at the left side limit and right side limit. Limit of f of x, as x approaches two from left with little negative sign there. So we are looking at two now, okay? What is the left side limit? So we are approaching two from left, okay? So let's look at what is going on here. We approach two from left and y values are getting, let's say, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.99, okay? So it is limit from left side is two. Now let's check the limit from right side. So a limit of f of x as x approaches two from right, okay? So we look at the limit from right. So let's see what's happening, right? So maybe y values are getting closer and closer to three. See, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.99. So left side limit is three. Okay, so left side, is, so right side limit is three. So left side is two, right side limit is three. They are not the same. So since they are not the same, then we say limit of f of x as x approaches 2 it does not exist, okay? So you will see this uh, shortened version. This means does not exist, okay? And when you look at the value of function at 2, f of 2 is 2, okay? So again, this doesn't mean that there is a limit at 2. So the value of the function exists, but limit does not. See, because there's a jump here and left side limit is two, right side limit is two. The next one, limit of f of, x, f of x as x approaches three. Again, we are gonna look at the left side limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches three from left. Okay, so we are approaching three from left. So what is happening to the function from left? maybe 1.2, 1 1.1, 1 1.01. .1. So it is almost one, right? So the limit is one if we approach three from left side. So that is one. So let's look at the right side limit. Okay, so we uh, x approaches three from right. So we approach three from right. Let's look at the y values. So maybe 1.2, 1.1, 1.01, 1.001. 1 .1, so it is one, the limit is one from right. Since left side limit is same as the right side limit, then we say limit of f of x as x approaches three is one. Yes, f of three, if you look at f of three, it is also one, okay? So in this case, uh, limit and the value of the function is the same, so if that is the case, the function is continuous at x equals three, okay? See, the, fun the value of the function is same as the limit at that point. Therefore, the function is continuous at x equals three. You don't see any jump, you don't see any hole. 
So it's con continuous. But if you looked at, look at the previous answers here, right? So we had the limit for uh, f of x when x approaches one, it was one, right? But the value of the function was two at that point. The limit not same as the value of the function at that point. Therefore, it is not continuous. As you see, it is not, right? There is a hole here and it jumps. What is continuous, so let's, uh, uh, rem uh, let's remember that, right? The function is continuous at that point if you can sketch it without lifting your hand. Okay, so this one, I can sketch it without lifting my hand. So the function is continuous at three. But here, right, when you're sketching this, so you sketch this and then jump there, come back, jump here. So it's a discontinuous at x equals one. Okay, so let's look at the limit, limit of f of x as x approaches four. So limit of f of x as x approaches four from left. From left, we look at it. Okay, so it looks like the y values are 1.8, 1.9, 1.99, 1.999. It's approaching, y values are approaching two. So left side limit is two. Let's look at the right side limit. So we approach from four from right. Okay, so let's check the y values. Again, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1 1.99. The y values are getting closer and closer to two. So right side limit is two. The left side limit is same as the right side limit. So therefore, Limit of f of x as x approaches for exist, and it is two. How about f of four? What is going on there, right? As you see, when x is four, there is a hole there, so no y value. So this doesn't exist, okay? F of four does not exist. But see, we have a limit at x equals four but no y value at that point. So that is also possible. So let's look at the next example, B. So we have this graph. So this arrows may not be there on the handout that you printed. You may want to add those arrows, okay? So limit of f of x as x approaches one. <clears throat> Again, let's look at the limit from left. As x approaches one from left. So from left. So we look at the y values. 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. is getting closer and closer to two as x approaches one from left. So left side limit is one. Let's look at the right side limit. Okay, so we approach one from right, maybe 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.99. So the y values are getting closer and closer to one. Left, the right side limit is one. Oh, the other one was two, sorry, my bad. Okay, <clears throat> so left side limit is two, right side limit is one. So they are not equal, okay? Left side limit and right side limit. Therefore, limit of, of f x as x approaches one does not, <clears throat> does not exist. Next one, limit of f of x as x approaches two. The limit of f of x as x approaches two from left, two from left. So what do we see? Okay, so we are approaching two from left. We are gonna check the y values. <clears throat> you only see <clears throat> one, negative one, negative two, but looks like, you know, you see the arrow. So it means, you know, and there's an asymptote there. So it looks like the y values are getting closer and closer to negative infinity. Okay, so left side limit is negative infinity. And right side limit,
So we approach two from right, look at the Y values, what is happening there. So Y values one, two, and you see the arrow, this graph is approaching to that vertical asymptote. So Y values are getting closer and closer to positive infinity, right? So right side limit is positive infinity. So left side limit is negative infinity and right side limit is positive infinity. So they are not the same. So we say limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is d and e. So by the way, so I say is uh, negative infinity and positive infinity. But in your textbook, if the limit is infinity, they consider it does not exist. Okay? Does not exist. So in university, uh, you know, some profess professors may ask you to use infinity or they may ask you to use does not exist. So it depends. So be, be careful with that. Uh, I prefer writing specifically infinity, okay? Negative infinity and positive infinity. But again, when you're you doing your textbook homework, you will see infinity as does not exist. Okay, so next one. So limit of f of x as x approaches zero. So limit of f of x as x approaches zero from left. So we approach zero is here. We approach there from left. So we see that y values are getting closer and closer to one. So right side limit, limit of f of x as x approaches zero from right. Okay. So as you see, the y values are getting in closer and closer to one. Left side limit is equal to right side limit. So limit of f of x as x approaches zero is one. So limit of f of x as x approaches a may exist. Even if f of a is not defined, we already had an example like that, okay? When we look at this, <clears throat> limit of f of x as x approaches four. Limit exists, right, two, but f of two, uh, so, sorry, uh, f of four does not exist. So that is possible. That's what it is saying. And the other one, limit of f of x, as x approaches a can be equal to f of a, then this function is continuous at x equals j. So we had such an example as well, <clears throat> okay? And we talked about it already. So we have this, right? Limit of f of x as x approaches three, so that is one. Also f of three is one. So limit is same as the y value at that point, Therefore, the function is continuous at x equals to 3. So, example 2. Determine limit of x squared minus 2x minus 3 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. Okay, so I'm going to factor this numerator. So that gives us x minus 3, x plus 1 over x minus 3. As you see, we have the same factor in numerator and denominator. And if you sketch this function, uh, you will remember this from advanced functions. Okay, So you kind of cancel it and then draw x plus, function x plus 1, but you put a hole at x equals 3. Right? That's what we do. All right. So I'm going to sketch it here quickly. I'm going to sketch x plus 1. Okay, x plus 1 here. So y-intercept is 1, slope is 1. Okay, this is the graph, but we need to put a hole when x is equal to 3.
how can you find the location i uh, the y coordinate of the hole you just take three and then submit it in the remaining expression three plus one gives you four that is four okay now let's look at the limit okay so limit from left four limit from right as x approaches three four well f of three does not exist right f of three does not exist it's undefined but limit from left is four limit from right is four so limit is four so limit exists let's look at the next one limit of f of x as x approaches one if f of x is this so this is a piecewise function right when x is less than one you have x minus two Okay, x minus 2, the y intercept is negative 2, slope is 1. The y intercept is negative 2, slope is 1, and I do it until x equals 1, right? And when x is less than 1, uh, y is x, x minus 2. So one is not included in the x minus two. So we put a hole here, okay? And when x is greater than or equal to one, y is three. Three. And then see, x is included in that interval. So we cover that point, all right? Now we are looking at the limit as x approaches one. So let's look at the left side limit. Left side limit, we approach one from left. Y values are getting closer and closer. So you have to find that point. Okay, so how do you find that? So you substitute one in here, but you get negative one, so negative one. So y values are getting closer and closer to negative one. So negative 1.2, negative 1.1, negative uh, 1.01, and it's getting closer and closer to negative one. So negative one. Let's look at the right side limit. Okay, we approach one from right we see that it is three. Um, the left side limit and right side limit are not equal. The limit of f of x as x approaches one does not exist. Example four, limit of f of x as x approaches one. Again, we have a uh, this function here, right? This y function. So it is 2x plus 1 when x is not equal to 1. Means you have all the x values from negative infinity to positive infinity except 1. This is what it means. But when x is exactly 1, y value is 2. Okay. Let's sketch that. Two x plus one, y, y intercept is one, slope is two. Okay, something like this, one. But I should exclude where x is equal to one. Okay, there's a hole there. You can find the y coordinate of that hole by substituting one in here. You get two plus one, three. 
So this is two. Okay. When x is exactly one, y value is two. Um, it's not very good graph. Maybe I should fix it a bit. So, so that is one. When x is one, y is two. Yeah, that's the graph we get. There's a hole here. When x is equal to one. Y is two. Okay, now we can answer the question. So let's look at left side and right side limit. Left side limit is three. And right side limit, so you look at from right, it is also three. So therefore, limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is 3. Well, f of 1 is 2. Okay, but we don't care about that, right? So for in terms of limit, we just look at the limit from left from the right. And we don't care what the y will exactly at that point, which is 2 in this case. Okay, moving on. Let's look at example five. Evaluate each limit. So a limit of two x squared minus two as x approaches one from left. If you have a continuous graph, you can actually find the limit at that point by just substituting that x value in the function, okay? Because if it's a continuous graph, limit is same as the y value of the function at that point. In this case, actually, you could just take this one, sub in here to calculate the limit, okay? But I'm gonna sketch it anyway, so that it makes more sense. Two x squared minus two, it's a parabola. Vertex is at zero and negative two. And a value is two, so you have something like this, okay? It's a continuous graph. So you're looking at the limit when x is equal to one. And actually, if you uh, factor this two, you get x squared minus one. So this gives you x minus one, x plus one. So the x intercepts are one and negative one. So you're looking at the limit uh, as x approaches one so from left y values are getting closer and closer to zero from right y values are getting closer and closer to zero this limit is zero and again it is because it is a continuous graph not piecewise or anything like that so you could just take one sub in to see what the limit is B, limit of five and x approaches three. Let me sketch that here. So that is y equals five line. Okay, and we are looking at limit when x approaches three. So when you look at the limit from left, it is five. From right, it is also five. So five. Again, y equals five line is a continuous graph. So you could just get it uh, without, without sketching it, okay? By substituting, I would say, but how can you substitute a, a three in y equals five line? But you know that, you know, if you have y equals five line for any x value, y is five, okay? The next one, limit of one over three to the power of x as x approaches negative one. 
this is an exponential function it's a continuous graph again you could just get it by subbing it in right and uh, then you would get one over three to the power of negative one, which is three. But if you want to see it with the graph for now, so no transformation, therefore y equals zero is the horizontal asymptote. Okay. And this graph will look like this, right? One, so you remember it from advanced functions and even from grade 11. Uh, and you are looking at the value of this function or limit of this function when x is equal to negative one or as x approaches negative one. Uh, in this case, same as the value of the function, which is three. Yeah. So next one. Limit of square root of t minus x as x approaches three. Okay, so we're going to check this limit. Uh, so this is a continuous graph, but you have to be careful with the square roots, but because the start point of the square root functions do not have limit. Okay, so when I sketch it, you will see why. So if you sketch this function. Uh, you know, you, if you if you factor this negative sign here, so you get negative x minus three. So that gives you k value. Remember, you have um, a k, c and d values when you do the transformations, and when k value is negative, so there is a reflection over y axis. Okay, and uh, this is telling you that there is three units. The horizontal shift to the right. So the regular uh, square root of x would look like that, but now there is a shift three units to right, and there is a reflection over. Or you do the reflection first. Maybe it's easier. So do the reflection first over the y-axis and move it three units to the right. So basically, you have this now. Okay. Okay, so we sketch this function. Now we're gonna look at the limit. Limit of f of x as x approaches three from left. Okay, we approach three from left. So look at the y values. They are getting closer and closer to zero. Let's look at the limit from right. Okay, well, there is no graph that I can follow from the right. Okay, when x is greater than three, this function undefined, so it doesn't have any value. Therefore, right side limit is not there. Okay, so therefore, left side limit is not equal to right side limit, and that is the reason this limit does not exist. So when you have a square root function, be careful with the start point. Because those start points, again, will not have a limit. Next one. Limit of one over x plus four as x approaches negative four. So if we sketch this function, So we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals, oh, what did I do? At y equals zero. And the vertical asymptote at x equals negative four. Okay. And this function will look like this. So when you look at the limit, from left. So as x approaches negative four from left. So we see that y values are getting closer and closer to negative infinity. Let's look at the limit from right. As x approaches negative four from right. So we see that y values are approaching to positive infinity. So 
this limit does not exist. Example six, sketch the graph of any function that satisfies the given conditions. So we have f of negative two equals two, and we have limit of f of x. As x approaches negative two from left is one, and limit of f of x as x approaches negative two from right is two. So negative two. Okay. So when x is negative two, y is two. So that is one thing. So now let's look at the limit, right? Limit of f of x as x approaches negative two from left, so on the left side of negative two, limit is one. Okay, so limit is gonna be one when x is less than negative two. So up from here, you can do actually any any graph, okay? So you can do a line, you can do a parabola, you can do any other curve after this point, okay? So pick one, doesn't matter which one. For example, I'm just gonna do this line, okay? And then right side limit is three. Three. And again, you can do anything when x is greater than negative two, as long as you touch this hole here. So let's say I'm gonna do a, a curve here or parabola. Okay. So when you look at this, right? So limit of f of x as x approaches negative two from right, as you see, it is three. Why well, these are getting closer and closer to three? And limit from left is one, and f of negative two is two. Okay. 